Sup dogs, how's it going? Theody back with some more of Cairo. So, from my last episode, I uh, couldn't do math and the creator saw that video and he felt totally bad for me, so he decided to give me the code. <laughs> Apparently all this time it's 545, five, I believe it was. I don't know, maybe I already forgot. But that was the answer to the code and how do you get it? I have no clue. I really don't. I have no idea what I was doing wrong. Maybe I just suck at reading. Hey, hey, hey. Well, what do you know? Another key. This is getting easier, isn't it? It's about time. Now, it's time for me to continue. Indeed it is. Ooh. Damn, it's dark in here. I need my flashlight for this place. Those assholes are down here, too. How the hell? Oh, well. I need to avoid them at all costs and escape with my life. Did you do, Kana? Did you do? What's this? Oh, duh. The one I like about this game, it's very generous on saving. Like, really? You don't even have to. Holy balls! <laughs> it's scary as hell down here. And I can hear those douchebags lurking around here. I don't want to die down here. Maybe there is a door down here somewhere. I hope. Well, Kana, that's a lot of down here you'd be saying. Down here. Who knows, maybe it's not actually down. Maybe it's actually up. <gasps> Inception. Oh, what? What? All oh, right, there's those um lurkers or whatever they're called are down there. But I didn't see any. Maybe they're invisible? Nah, that's impossible. Maybe it's just too dark to see them. All right, let's tread carefully. Yep, he said that. I'm gonna save over that prompt. Ah, uh, nope, she loves saying that prompt, so never mind. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Slow and steady wins the race. According to the tortoise and the hare. Or the hare and the tortoise. The turtle and the hare. Alright. Maybe if I hug against the wall, it would make things easier. You know? Ooh, I see you. Oh, no! Okay. Ooh, that was a bit spooky. Not gonna lie. I almost got devoured. So glad I didn't. Because that would suck. A lot. <laughs> Sorry, the reason why I keep going left and right is so I could get a better view of the area. And make sure that there's no specters, but just like somewhere around. So, is this like a maze with a hallway that I'm continuously following, or is there a door somewhere and I gotta find it? I'm not sure. Oh, ooh, a door! I can finally leave here. I don't know, it looked like a wall to me, but I ain't complaining. You have done well to make it here, Connor. Come, I need to talk to you yet again. Oh, it's that dude. Where is this place? Is it heaven? Hey. Well, Kana, it seems you have done well to make it here. And now, I will see you out of here. Um, what? I thought you wanted to talk to me. This book is one of the artifacts, right? I feel an odd vibe off of it. Yes, that is correct. I do have a question. You are not human. You are obviously more capable than me. Why am I here, and why am I forced to collect these strange items for my own freedom and safety? It makes sense that you have no idea what you are truly are. Kana Izaki, you are human, but at the same time, you are not. What do you mean? I'll meet you back home. I will send you back immediately. Back in the mortal world, we will learn you what you truly are. Dun dun dun! Oh, wh what? I'm back here so quickly. I feel rejuvenated as if I slept. Wait, Sen is probably here. He did say he was going to be here, but what the hell am I? You are a maybe 18 year old girl? Maybe younger? Not entirely sure. Oh yeah, I bought chicken wings. I can't wait to have some. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, okay. Sure. Oh, hey. Yo, I swear, if you ate my chicken, I'll be so mad. Oh, Sen, it's you! I knew you were in here. Oh, Kana, you, may ha you have made it. 
So what happens now? Well, someone is on their way here. You have not yet. Blah. You have not met him yet. Oh well, I guess I'll have some chicken wings while I wait. Oh, about that. <clears throat> you bastard. He did eat my chicken wings. You didn't happen to eat my chicken wings, did you, son? I most likely did. <clears throat> yes. Bastard. I'll kill you for that. Yep, she killed him. <laughs> uh, and that, my friends, is how she learned who she truly was. She got her chicken wings eaten. <laughs> Ouch, that hurt. Next time, do not eat my chicken. Anyways, who is supposed to be coming here and why? My master is coming here. We want to confirm something important. Who is your master? My master is Lord Death, the Grim Reaper. The, the Grim Reaper is your master? What does Death want with me? You'll find out. You mean the giant eyeball? I'm literally waiting. Oh, okay. W what is happening? He is already here, it seems. Yeah. You're tall. <laughs> Master, you are here, but not as a projection. You are truly here, standing amongst us. Is it really that serious? <gasps> so tall! Yeah, that's what I said. So, y you're deaf? Let's go outside for this. It's time we settle our suspicions. Why are you out here? Why are we out here? We need to learn exactly what you are and what actions we need to take to get rid of all of our problems. I shall begin right now. Oh, he looks a lot cooler in his thumbnail than in person. So, what you doing to me? Um. Okay. And now she is asleep with her eyes open. And now it begins. Come out now. Allow us the pleasure to see you. Allow us the pleasure to see you. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All I know is that something bad's happening. Uh-oh. She's a beast. They call her Kana. <laughs> now, what do we have here? M Master, is it, it is true. She changed. Does this confirm our suspicions? It does, son. It would be the only logical conclusion. All these physical features you see before you are quite fitting and natural. Natural that a human reaper blood flowing through their veins may require this power. Kana, the other Grim Reaper, who is standing before us. Before me. Whoa. I love those thumbnails. They're really sick looking. Uh oh. Master. Yes, I know. She has no control. I need to undo the transformation for now. She will stay human. Sen. I'll send you and Kana back to the house you were in previously, and Kana will be asleep. Deus ex mortem, vi ex terai, tu en ba, shi gamme, so regress. Uh. Cool. On second thought, before I send you back, son, let's have ourselves a talk. It won't be too long. Alright, I have stopped time. When we are finished talking, you will find yourself with Kana at her home. I see. I see it as no surprise you wish to talk to me after discovering Kana's true form. We know of the demon who is after Kana's reaper soul. However, he is nameless. What we know of the demon is that he has a large X-shaped scar on his face. But there seems to be more than that. This demon is capable of creating incarnations, or to put it simply, being create beings created from itself. Something dangerous is coming after Kana, so you will be with her until she finds my scythe. Which will happen after she? What will happen after she finds the six artifacts? Oh, which will happen after she finds the six artifacts? Right? Yeah. Had it right the first time. Yes, that is correct. Once I have my scythe back, I will purge the existence of these troublemakers. I understand, Master. Huh, quite interesting. I like the uh, blur effect. It's cool. What 
is wrong, Master. Son, we have a problem. That thing, the incarnation, is nearing Kana's house. I use up my time. I cannot kill that entity. Sen, you must go. Now. Quickly. Yes, understood, Master. Yeah, I know they have the same voices. I'm not great at voice acting. Either. Oh, it's that thing in my bathroom, right? That that weird, creepy, giant thing? Oh my god. What a pretty living room you have, Reaper girl. Now, it is time for me to devour your soul. <laughs> You know what it reminds me of, actually? The thing from Spirit Away. Because the mask. Cairo, Act 1 completed. What? Already? What? No. Oh, that's such a cliffhanger. It's so short, too. Come on. Oh. Alright, guys. Well, that was Cairo, Act 1. Oh, man. To be honest, it was pretty short. I, if it wasn't for me getting stuck with that stupid math problem, it probably would have been like 30 minutes. But overall, it was nice. It was very interesting. The story is really, really, um... Oh, what's that word? It's really with depth. And there's feel like there's so much to the world to be discovered. With those, those creatures having a real world, a hell world death grim reapers it's so cool it makes me really curious on what the uh what the preco was about um anyways this is cairo act one i really recommend you check it out if you're into these sort of um high fantasy worlds or dark fantasy supernatural fantasy whatever worlds it's wicked cool wicked awesome and definitely or if they download worth following for like act two and Whatever. I wonder how many acts they're gonna be. Maybe four. Four is usually the good number. Oh, actually, if it's one item per thing, per act, then six episodes, plus maybe a finale. So maybe seven episodes. Seven. Ah, not episodes. Seven acts or six acts. I don't know how the creator wants to do it. Oh yeah. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about before I completely forget and say goodbye was that the uh, the death. Couldn't find his scythe or got it stolen. So this is my idea of what happened in the plot. Because it wasn't completely explained. But I'm pretty sure he'll explain it later on. But this is my thoughts on it. Maybe the bad guy stole his scythe. And she has to get it because she's a grim reaper. And Sam can't get it because he's not a grim reaper. That's my guess on why she has to be the one to get it. And why... Sam or anyone else can get it. Alright, so this is Cairo. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video and wish to follow, please like the video, comment, subscribe, and uh, when the next one comes out, I'll be sure to play it. Alright, this is Yodi saying goodbye, and I'll see y'all later.